Hello everyone and welcome back to the beginner's crafting guide level 1 to 80 and then to 50 million gil. So as most of you already know I was already up to level a level 50 on in this guide. And then the patch 5.1 changes to the crafting abilities happened. So basically what that means is that all of the rotation I showed up to level 50 in the guide are no longer relevant anymore. So I have to redo them. So what I'm gonna do is, I am on a new character, I'm just going to show you all the rotations from level 1 to 50, and then from level 50 I will continue with the, with my progress on the character I was already using for the guide, so I'll keep the old footage in for the guide. But any rotation footage I'm gonna redo. So I'm just going to go through all of the crafting levels up to 50. Alright. So let's start. So now we are level 1 obviously. Start with basic synthesis which is 100% now. It used to have a chance to fail. And every class have now all abilities that you need, so you don't need to worry about leveling a certain crafter to unlock cross-class abilities. Every crafter get the same abilities now, so that's that's a good thing for people who only want to focus on one class. But I would still recommend leveling all crafting classes in sync, because you will need to craft materials. For example, on Weaver you will eventually need leather. In your in your recipes, right, right here, for example, you need hard leather. So it's nice to have leather worker leveled as well to be able to craft your own leather for your weaver, if you know what I mean. So it's up to you, but my re I highly recommend that you level all crafters anyway. So you don't have to buy materials. But it's up to you if you want to just focus on one class. You you can absolutely do it now after the changes they made to the crafting system. Anyways, let's... So the first step here is just basically go through all your recipes now. Uh, just craft them for the first time. You get a huge experience bonus. Also, I've heard from other players that you get huge XP boost as well. So it's much e quicker and easier to level up now. So I'm just gonna go through all these recipes while doing the crafting quest for the class up to level 10. That's the first step. Every guild supplier have their own materials. So Weaver have materials from Weaver that you need up to level 15. Alternatively, if you have a friend that have a house, ask them to add you to their house so you can use their NPCs. Having access to how the NPCs inside house, it's really good. There's so many materials you have access to. So you don't have to even be in the guild itself. So if you have a friend or if your FC have a house already, that is also great. If you don't have a FC, Feel free to join our FC. We have one in Cerberus server and one in Light. So if you are a new character in those servers, you can feel free to join us. If you want to use our house for the NPCs, like right here, you can buy lumber, metal, stone, etc. You can buy all the materials you need for really, really, really cheap price. So you can go through all those beginner recipes really quickly and level up really quickly. And then you have clothes, regions, and so on. And then cooking materials as well. So I'm just gonna get through all these recipes. All you need to do is really do basic synthesis and up do that up to level 10. That's the first step. Alright, just hit level 10. Be sure to keep updated with your class quest and try to always update your gear as you level up as well. Weaver crafts most of the left side gear. And come to the culinarian 
and PC in any of the main cities you can buy these Ferumentis which give you extra CP not only food buff increase XP gain by 3% it will also give you extra stats to help you in this case 10 more CP is nice since our chest piece is still level 1 let's craft level 9 chest piece and let's craft let's try to craft it high quality so now we can try to high quality so when you craft you have a progress bar and quality bar certain abilities increase your quality bar the more you increase it the more chance you have to HQ it right now is 1% and if you use high quality materials you start off with some percentage of the HQ bar as well alright let's go through the abilities we have learned so basic touch costs 80 CP and in increases your quality at efficiency of 100% Master's Mint restores your durability by 30. Hasty Touch increases quality. It doesn't cost any CP, but success rate is only 60%, so it can fail. And uh, Rapid Synth increases progress by a lot and is zero CP cost, but it's only 50% success rate. And Inner Quiet is really good because if you have inner quiet up for every successful hasty touch or basic touch the next quality gain will increase so the more stacks you have of inner quiet the more quality you increase per hasty touch or basic touch so if you're aiming for high quality always do inner quiet your first ability and even if you're not aiming for HQ you should try to increase the HQ bar anyway because the more you increase the HQ bar the more XP bonus you gain so always try to increase it even if your goal is not get HQ since you're leveling up you need extra XP alright so we start off with inner quiet always and let me put the uh, hasty touch on the right position in my hot bar alright so as a rule of thumb, always increase your progress in a way so that you're only one basic touch away. Sorry, basic senses is away from finishing that craft so that you leave 10 durability and you work on quality and then you finish the craft. So I always do basic synth until I'm one basic synth away from finishing it. So in this case it's 19 progress per basic synth. So if I do another one it will not finish the craft. Let's do one. Always be one away and then work on quality. So you don't accidentally don't leave out any durability, you know. And then you spam hasty touch. Well, three hasty touches. It's only 60% rate, as you know. And then you use Master's Mint to restore durability. And now we have enough CP left to do basic touches. Basic touch is like hasty touch, but 100% success rate. Oh, I could have I could have actually done another basic touch to increase the quality. And now we're only 10 durability away, so we finish the craft. There we go. So I could have been more efficient with that. Let's try something else. Let's try this headpiece right here. Just to show you the rotation again, so you get familiar with it a little bit more. So always inner quiet first. And then B1 synth away from finishing the craft so you don't forget all right and then we work on quality now so last time we did three hasty touches right but i we found out that we could have done two hasty touch and four basic touch instead so we do two hasty touches and then four well do one basic then do master's men to restore the durability and then we do three 
basic touches. And then finish that craft with the basic sim. So do this rotation until level 15. At level 15 we will get me new abilities and I will go through them with you. Alright, so just hit level 16 and updated my gear as well. I'm using this bat fang needle. That's why I also recommend it. Leveling other crafters alongside Don't just focus on one class because you can craft your own gear for your own crafters So you can craft these this bat fang needle as goldsmith and these three accessories so you get more CP as well and Using some of gear that I got the belt from the class quest, but you can craft it too. So this is the gear I'm using Level 15 for the three first pieces. That belt. Level 15 pants. And still using level 5 boots. So you can craft your own. I'm gonna do this gear until level 20. Or 21 even maybe. Alright, so that's the gear out of the way. And uh, let's go through the new ability. So we just got observe. Observe is just skipping a turn just to observe and see if you get good or excellent condition. Good and excellent are good for reasons because that's our neck when our next ability comes in. If you get good condition or excellent and you, you use tricks of the trade you get 20 CP back. Or you can use basic touch. Basic touch efficiency increases from 100% to 150 under good. And it will increase to 200% under excellent. So it increases by a lot. Or was it 400? Anyway, I, I may be doing the math wrong. But uh, basically, it basic touch doubles in effect with good condition. And quadruples in effect times 4 under excellent. Alright. So let's do this level 20 recipe as level 16. As usual, we always start with inner quiet. And now we also have a new ability called Waste Knot, which we will use. It l d reduces the durability loss, so we get many more abilities in per craft. And ingenuity increases the effectiveness of touch and synthesis. Usually leave this for the last five turns at the end of the craft. We got just got a tricks of the trade. Let's use it. So we got 20 CP back. Basically the 18 CP we used for inner quad we got it back. Then you use waste knot. And then two basic synthesis. I know that the last basic synthesis will be enough to finish the craft if I have ingenuity active. So I'll be sure to have enough CP left for an ingenuity at the end. Or have an ingenuity stack. And then we do hasty touches. B uh, you can use the tricks of the trade. Get CP back again. But only do one under waste knot. Not more. Because we want to have the, num the number B5 at the end for, for durability remaining. That way we will get one extra durability because it will be 5 remaining at the end. And even if you don't have waste not available, we can still use that 5 durability remaining to do our last basic s synthesis. Alright, so let's continue to another waste not. I just need to have enough CP left to do ingenuity at the end so what I would like to do here is do hasty touches here just four hasty touches to do to use the waste knot effectively and once that is over I can now do ingenuity and do three basic touches 
Well, we could have used more basic touches under the second waste knot, actually. Now that I think of it, we got so much spare CP now. Anyways, so now I know that it will finish the craft, the last basic synthesis. We had 72 CP to spare, and we high quality the item. So let's do it better next time. So inner quiet. Now, I, uh, granted, I got lucky with the uh, tricks of the trade. That's why I also have that much CP remaining. But I should use it better. Waste not. Two basic synthesis. We got good condition. We can use one of them to tricks of the trade. Well, if you get multiple good connections, good condition, sorry, we can use basic touch to get even more quality. If it's good condition and you want to use a touch, be sure it's basic touch if you have CP, so you get, you guaranteed the touch hits under that good condition or excellent. Alright. Let's refresh waste knot. We got good condition. Let's use one basic touch. And then hasty touches, three hasty touches. Well, we got another good condition. So we can do basic touch instead of hasty, so we get more quality. And another basic touch. Okay, now we want to use ingenuity. We have enough CP for two basic touches. Actually, three exactly. Nice. So do one, another one, and then basic synth to finish the craft. So you now you get an idea of the rotation until level 20. We can also make this into a macro, so you just use it to gain experience. If you if your goal is to HQ and piece of gear, don't don't do macro. Do this rotation I showed you. But if you want to have the option to just hit a macro to gain experience to level up, I will make a macro now and we'll share it. Alright, I just made the macro. A uh, link for it will be in the video description so you can copy paste it if you are on PC. On PS4 you have to type it with a keyboard or with your pad controller. Unfortunately it's tedious on PS4. So you just press the macro and have, have it go automatically. I only recommend using this if you're just farming XP to level up. If you're, if you want to HQ a piece of gear, just do the rotation like I showed you. Because for every tricks of the trade, you can change one of these hasty touches to basic touch, which increases your chance to HQ by a lot. But if you just want XP, you just press this and you're good to go. I have my website where, where I post all of the macros. I will link it in the video description. This is level 16 to 20 macro. So you can start using this as soon as you hit 60. For as long as you have this craftsmanship and control. And at least 226 CP. So just be sure to have these three accessories crafted for yourself. Have the level 15 offhand you get from the level 15 class quest. Craft a bad fang needle as goldsmith and craft the rest of the left side as weaver and leather worker. As long as you have this you should be fine. You just either follow the rotation or the macro. For the beast stripe quest crafts it's the same concept just do the rotation and you will be good while we're on the topic of accessing really good vendors for crafting materials it is time to unlock all the round reborn beast stripes they have vendors that sell really good materials but that's gonna wait for the next part and we're also going to unlock the exile beast stripe which is a crafting beast stripe gives you insane amount of experience to level your crafters 
So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, favor, subscribe and share the video. And if you want to support even more, you can do that on my Twitch or Patreon. Patreons will have early access to these videos. I will release it to them like one week prior. I may can publish just to say thanks. Appreciate all the support and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.